What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.1.3 up to iOS 8.3. Now this is going to work on any device that can run that firmware. I'm gonna list those off right now, so go ahead and listen for your device. So this process is going to work on the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPad Air 2, iPad Air, iPad 4, iPad 3, iPad 2, iPad Mini 3, iPad Mini 2, iPad Mini, and the iPod Touch 5G. So if you have any of those devices, then you need to follow this process. Now, this can be a little finicky. I've had some issues with it as I've been jailbreaking. So make sure that you do every step that I mentioned because I've done all the troubleshooting for you. I think the process that I'm gonna show you here is foolproof. So the first thing that you wanna do is download Taiji Tool. So you're gonna go to taiji.com slash en. This is gonna give you the English version. If you go to taiji.com, then it's gonna give you the Chinese version, which probably most of you don't speak. So make sure you go to the English version. Of course, I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can just click on it and then download that tool by clicking right here. This is gonna be version 2.0.0. It's about 70 meg, shouldn't take too long to download. Now keep in mind, this is only going to work on a Windows PC. So if you only have a Mac, then you're gonna to need to either borrow a friend's Windows PC, you're gonna to have to wait for a Mac version to be released, or you're gonna to have to actually create a virtual machine on your Mac. And if you guys don't know how to do that, it's kind of complicated if you don't know what you're doing, but it always is a possibility. Of course, if you guys wanna see a tutorial on the Mac version when it's released, make sure you hit that like button on this video and I'll do just that. So once you've downloaded this, all you wanna do is we'll just minimize this and you're gonna get a zip file here. So I just use WinRAR to unzip it. If you don't have a program to unzip your file here, I'll put a WinRAR link in the description below. You guys can just download that and install it. So once you unzip this, you're actually going to get the jailbreak tool. So the way that you wanna open this is right click on it and run as administrator just to you know make sure that no issues come up during the jailbreaking process make sure that you run it as administrator by right clicking on it right there and then it's very possible that you can get a error right here basically talking about an apple driver so if you do get this the way that i got past it was downgrading my itunes from 12 dot one dot two i believe it was which is the latest version down to 12 dot zero dot one so I highly recommend doing that just to kind of save you some frustration. If you guys don't know how to downgrade your iTunes, uh, there are some tutorials out there. But if you guys want to see a video on how to do that very simply, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to make a downgrade tutorial for iTunes because that was probably the most annoying thing for me when I was trying to jailbreak my device. Now, once you've actually done that, and downgraded your iTunes, then it should go ahead and recognize your device and it should tell you what iOS version you're on. Now there's a couple things that I do recommend doing before you start the jailbreak. One, one thing I always recommend doing is backing up your device using iTunes. Once you've backed up your device, then I would recommend restoring your device to a clean restore of iOS 8.3. I always do this just to, you know, make sure that I don't run into any issues with the jailbreaking process. Of course, you always wanna back up your device before you jailbreak just in case anything does go wrong, you don't lose any data. So at this point, after you've done that, a couple other things that I would recommend doing is turning off Touch ID and Passcode. Also, you wanna turn off Find My iPhone and also go into Settings, General, and turn Auto Lock on to Never. So basically, it's never going to auto lock your device. So now at this point, we're ready to jailbreak. After you've done all that, make sure that you untick the 3K Assistant. This is basically some third-party software that you don't want on your device, I presume. So I don't want it. I'm just going to download and install Cydia. So at this point, we're ready to jailbreak. So I'm just gonna click Start, and then you can see the jailbreaking process starting. Now again, if you do get stuck right here at 20%, it's probably an iTunes error. Again, I recommend downgrading to 12.0.1. It's very possible that this can work for you on the latest version of iTunes. I just didn't have any luck with it. So if you do run into any issues, again, downgrade your iTunes to 12.0.1. So at this point, just give it some time and I'm just gonna let it continue to jailbreak and I'll go ahead and speed up through this process. Should take less than five minutes if you're doing it on a freshly restored device. All right, so you can see right here that the device is now jailbroken. It even says it right here that it's jailbroken as it's plugged in. So at this point, you can see if we just swipe over here and we're gonna swipe over here to Cydia, tap on that. 
of course we're going to have to prepare the file system as we always do on a jailbroken device so just let it go ahead and prepare that file system and at that point you'll be completely jailbroken with a working Cydia All right, so it finished preparing the file system. You can see right here that we've rebooted our device. And as we go over here and open up Cydia, once it's completely loaded, you'll see that we have a completely working Cydia. Of course, we're on iOS 8.3, as you can see right there. So that's how you jailbreak your device on Taiji version 2.0. Of course, if you guys have any issues, make sure to leave me a comment in the comments below. I'll be sure to help you guys out as much as I can. I actually had a pretty rough time jailbreaking my device right here just because of all the issues I ran into. But hopefully, all that troubleshooting that I did is going to save you guys a lot of time. So, of course, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. And also, if you guys want to see a tutorial on the Mac version, also hit that like button just to let me know. All right, guys, if you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as compatible tweaks with the iOS 8.3 jailbreak, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.